Good evening, I'm Scott Thompson. I'm Carol Morrison, and here are your top stories from Two Works For You. Pick a night and hit the highway, and you'll see light fixtures dark and inoperable because of copper theft. But one Oklahoma man says he has the solution. James Davidson owns a company that makes theft deterrent devices. In fact, he's invented the copper locker, which he says keeps thieves out. The device has been so effective, ODOT and the Oklahoma Turnpike Authority now using them on projects all across the state. Four people died after a head-on collision on I-40 in Oklahoma City this morning. Troopers say the driver of a pickup merged onto the highway going in the wrong direction. His truck then hit a car head-on. The OHP says two women in the car were killed along with the man and a woman in that truck. A Stillwater man is in jail tonight accused of beating his girlfriend's chihuahua to death. Court documents show that Andrew Field admitted to police that he pinned the little dog to the ground and then punched it several times. He's now facing a count of cruelty to animals. Oklahoma's Lieutenant Governor wants to see the state through your eyes. Matt Pinnell is asking you to highlight the beauty of the state by sharing original photographs online with the hashtag OKTravelTakeover. OK At the end of the month, the top 20 photos will be printed to hang in the lieutenant governor's office. And it's shaping up to be a chilly Friday night for us. Temperatures tonight holding a pretty steady in the middle 30s. We'll wake up to about 30 for our Saturday morning, 20s towards Bartlesville and Coffeeville. A lot of clouds for our Saturday, and we could even see a few stray showers across portions of southeast Oklahoma. Changes take place late tomorrow night, heading into our Sunday morning. Sleet, snow will be moving in, and we could even see some accumulations from Tulsa up towards Bartlesville, Coffeeville, anywhere from about one to three inches. Now, this system will be moving out throughout the late morning hours, but it will be bone chilling cold Sunday afternoon with temperatures only in the 20s and we are expecting wind chills below zero for Monday. Gradual warm up heading into the end of next week. All right, thank you, Clint, and thank you for joining us for news from Two Works For You. Our next updates at 915.